name is Enoch Msungwin. I'm a program manager with Pangea Zimbabwe. I'm overseeing the CMS project, which is the Zimbabwe Accountability Citizen Engagement Program. This program is looking at uh, emphasizing the access to health services and the health rights for women and girls. And one of the key activities is we're working with the health center committees from the 18 clinics in Mashingo, Rural and Eben. The importance and the purpose of the training is to ensure that HCC is the governance structure of the local clinic, being a bridge and representing the community. It is important for them to understand their oversight responsibility, to understand their responsibility in terms of supporting and enabling environment for the clinic so that they assist the clinic in fundraising, in resource mobilization, in planning and also executing some of the projects. So this training is going to enhance the documentation capacity of the HCC members in terms of their minutes, planning their quarterly meetings and other ad hoc meetings, documenting the reports, going through financial management, procurement and regulations in terms of quotation sourcing, ensuring that things are bound by the community, not like, not like individual decisions. It also enhances and reduces uh, issues of corruption so that everything is centered on one person. So by having a committee, we ensure that we distribute power and it's going to reflect the different views and perspectives of the different members. So for us as an organization, it's going to be good because the HCC also is important to work with our volunteer on the ground who is a community health rights champion who will be able to visit and engage various women and girls and understand their various issues and barriers that are affecting them in terms of health access. By identifying those various barriers through interaction with women and girls, the community health rights champion is able to go and deliver those challenges to the HCC so that they deliver, they deliberate them on in the board, in the meeting, including the nursing charge of the local clinic group also to understand what are the women and girls saying about health and rights at the local community. And some of the things that are actionable, the health center committee will be able to action, come up with an action plan so that they also articulate when they are going to address those issues. Issues that are beyond their capacity are also brought up to the district medical officer, working together with his district or her district executive to address some of the things and we can also collaboratively work together with the DMO and the team so that we can address some of the things, whether it is about training customer care to the nurses, whether it's about improving the distribution and allocation of nurses from the DNO's office, looking at the capacity of the different clinics and the population which they serve. So I think from that, it's going to enhance the overall chain in terms of health delivery at a local level. Despite the challenges that we might have the, in the health system, what the government is able to offer, those things should also be used equitably, without discrimination, without any favor, so that everything is going to be objective. So the HCC is there to ensure that there is objectivity, there is no favoritism, and the little cake that has to be shared in Parliament. As you understand, last week we had a training of community health rights champion from the three, uh, formed of three groups with 14 rural facilities and four urban facilities. Now, in continuing our program, we are training 18 community health rights champions drawn from all the 18 facilities. Each facility will be able to volunteer as a community health rights champion who is going to represent the Pangea Zimbabwe CMS project, uh, sensitizing the community, engaging the community, and working closely with the health center committees. We have the SASA project, we've got the Minister of Human Affairs, we've got the Minister of Youth, we've got the National AIDS Council, we've got the Minister of Health and other partners that are also implementing machine. This is also going to be important because the community of the child will not be able to refer and sign post community members with other problems that we are not able to address as Pangea Zimbabwe, but they will be able to know that such problem can also be referred to Sasa, can be referred to my hands, can be referred to Legal Resources Foundation, so that there are going to be meaningful sources of information in the community. I think in a nutshell, that's what's going to benefit uh, the program through the training of the key uh, community-based members known as community health rights champions. Thank you.